hey guys so today we are going to see what is an equilibrium element in array and how to find that equilibrium element so at first let's understand what is equilibrium element so an element for which the sum of all the elements on its left side and sum of all the elements on its right side is equal so suppose in this example see here take an example of element 2 okay so see what are its left side elements minus 7 1 and 5 what are its right side elements minus 4 3 and 0 so let's sum these left side elements at first so minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 right and what is its right side it is minus 4 3 and 0 so minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 so the sum of right side is minus 1 and sum of left side is minus 1 so the element to this element of this array is an equilibrium element right so now you understand the equilibrium element let's see the algorithm to find out this equilibrium element so see here this is the algorithm and this is the code to find out that equilibrium element this code gives us that equilibrium element in o of n time complexity right because see o of n square is very easy so you just write two nested for loops and just add the elements on left side and right side you will get the equilibrium element but writing the code in o of n time complexity is tricky and today we are going to see that how to write the code in o of n time complexity right so here is the algorithm let's read it so at first calculate total sum so what is the total sum of this array you have to calculate that so let's write total sum now see minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 plus 5 minus 1 plus 2 is 1 minus 4 is minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 plus 0 is 0 so the total sum of this array is 0 total sum can be anything see total sum can be anything here coincidentally total sum is equal to 0 okay now let's go to the next step second step is write sum equal to sum so right side sum will be equal to the total sum so see here this is a pseudo code I will explain this algorithm in this pseudo code as well so one by one step we will see right so see what is the first step calculate total sum so here is the first step for calculating total sum as you know you just iterate in a for loop for i equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus sum equal to sum plus a of i so this calculates the total sum now this is the second step see write sum equal to sum means this is just a variable write sum is just a variable which represents the sum of the elements on the right side okay but we don't know which element is equilibrium element in this array so we don't know for now while beginning the algorithm okay so write sum equal to sum so i'll write it here write sum equal to 0 because sum is 0 so write sum equal to 0 then the third step see for each element means for i equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus for each element what is the first step subtract from right sum so right sum equal to right sum minus a of i so let's follow this step in this array okay so let's write the indices of this array see 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is the array a these are the indices of the array and we want to find out the equilibrium element now so 
let's declare the variable write sum r s is write sum it is equal to 0 okay see here it is these two variables are declared here write sum equal to 0 left sum equal to 0 so left sum and write sum both are equal to 0 while we start the algorithm right so left sum equal to 0 and right sum equal to 0 this is the basic step of this algorithm now let's revise the steps see what is the first step calculate total sum so what is total sum sum equal to 0 then write sum equal to sum so we came to this step write sum equal to sum and sum is 0 so this rs equal to sum and this sum is 0 right so we assigned to rs that is 0 okay now the third step means this for loop so now for each element subtract from write sum so let's see for i equal to 0 we will start so subtract from write sum so that is minus 7 should be subtracted from rs so 0 minus minus 7 correct so what is 0 minus minus 7 that is plus 7 so write sum is 7 now then what is the second step b compare okay so you have to compare the left sum and right sum are they equal so see if left sum equal to equal to right sum so are they equal no they are not equal so this if condition is not satisfied so we go to next step that is left sum equal to left sum plus a of i that is written here add to left sum okay so we have to add that element to left sum so minus 7 should also be added to the left sum so 0 plus minus 7 is minus 7 see this is the first iteration so first iteration is over let's go to the next iteration of this for loop now i is 1 for the next iteration i is 1 so what is the index 1 it is here element is 1 so what is the first step so we are in this for loop this iteration right so what is the first step subtract from right sum so 7 minus the element at the first index that is 1 7 minus 1 so it is 6 correct now what is the next step compare so is left sum equal to right sum no so let's go to next step add to left sum so add that element to left sum so add element c minus 7 plus 1 so that is minus 6 correct so here is the end of this iteration again next iteration see here next iteration now i equal to 2 so let's go to the second index see what is element element is 5 so what is the first step subtract from right sum so 6 minus 5 correct what is 6 minus 5 that is 1 and now compare so is it equal to right sum means is left sum equal to right sum no it is not so let's go to the third step so add to left sum so minus 6 plus 5 so add 5 minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 correct so let's go to the next iteration now i equal to 3 so we come at this element now see what is the first step subtract from right sum so 1 minus 2 this element 1 minus 2 is minus 1 correct and what is left sum minus 1 and right sum is minus 1 so the second step of comparing is satisfied this if condition is satisfied now so index i should be printed so this is the output answer so what is the equilibrium element element is 2 and what is the index of that element that is 3 index of the element so element is 2 and index of that element is 3 so we found out the equilibrium element because left sum equal to equal to right sum so let's take an another example now to understand clearly. 
so see this is an another example we are going to solve it step by step now so pay attention once you solve this example you will understand the algorithm perfectly so now see what is the first step calculate total sum so what is the total sum of this array let's see 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 6 is 10 10 minus 5 is 5 plus 4 9 plus 3 12 plus 2 14 so what is the total sum 14 right first step is over now write sum equal to sum so write sum equal to sum means it is 14 correct so write 14 here because our s is right sum so write sum equal to 14 and what is left sum left sum is always initialized to 0 at first see left sum is 0 and right sum is also 0 initialized at first but right sum becomes equal to sum after this first step at this second step right sum becomes equal to sum right now so left sum equal to 0 right sum equal to 14 now for each element see subtract from right sum so first i equal to 0 so 0 to 6 we have to go so i equal to 0 so this is the element 3 so subtract from right sum so 14 minus what is 14 minus 3? It is 11. Subtract from right sum step is over. Now compare. So is 0 equal to 11? No, it is not. So let's go to the next step. Add to left sum. So add that element to left sum. So 0 plus 3 is 3. Right? Now let's go to the next element so i becomes 1 now so subtract from right sum at first so 11 minus 1 so i am not going into these steps now i am doing it directly okay so 11 minus 1 is 10 we subtracted from right sum now compare 3 is equal to equal to 10 no so go to next step means add this one to left sum so 3 plus 1 is 4 correct now i is incremented i equal to 2 so now subtract from right sum so 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 and check whether left sum is equal to equal to right sum yes it is equal so we print this index that is 2 so the equilibrium index is 2 and equilibrium element is 6 so this is how we find out equilibrium element so suppose in an array if there is only one element 2 so that element itself is equilibrium element right because the left is equal to the right 0 0 so for a single element in array the equilibrium element is that element itself so this is how we find out the equilibrium element so i have given the whole code on my github link that link is in the description below so please visit that code and practice that code it is very important for interviews because its time complexity is o of n okay so for more videos subscribe to this channel and please like this video hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you